What's going on YouTube, Gamer Studios Universe here and welcome back to my channel. In this video you will be seeing the Jerome Jacobs My Player gameplay and also you might be seeing the last time Dwight Howard is in an Orlando Magic's uniform. Uh, if this video comes out for whatever reason after he gets traded or whether or not he does get traded, uh, I'm not really sure when this will be out. This should be out by tonight. Uh, so sometime on March 14th of 2012 but now on into the gameplay right here is one of our first defensive stances as a my player mode or as a player in the NBA as well so of course since I'm playing as a two guard Quentin Richardson is gonna try and post me up but I am able to uh, make him have a bad shot and I'm gonna take it all the way to the other side of the court and I'm gonna make a nice little 18 footer right there so at this point in the game we are already up by six and Orlando is struggling against Charlotte's defense uh, so which is not usually likely to happen in real life but that's what's happening in this game so right here Quentin Richardson tries to go to the post again and misses and our defense was actually very good in this game. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to keep it up. But right here, you're going to see, I'm trying to ISO, get a nice pick and roll maybe. A uh, nice little dish. And I just kind of chuck it into Boris Diaw. But luckily, he is able to finish that one strong. So, at this point, we're up by 9. Orlando has 11 points so far towards the end of the first quarter. Their offense has been very unproductive. And right here, Quinton Richardson goes to the post again, and he's going to miss it. So there's another case where our defense is held strong. You're going to be seeing Dwight Howard isoing at the top of the key. And he realizes he's not a point guard, so he tries passing it off to a guard. And we are able to jump in the passing lane and feed out on the fast break. Or leak out on the fast break and get a nice dunk. So, once again, Quentin Richardson in the post. What's he going to learn? He ain't going it. Oh, wait a second. That's his first post shot made against my guy. So, whatever. All right. Okay. Let's see. Can I get another assist? Yeah. There we go. And right here, we're trying to stop their pick and roll situation. But they're going to kick it off to Quentin Richardson who's isoing at the top of the key and we are guarding Ryan Anderson a two on a four which doesn't make much sense and we're leaking out on the fast break once again we're gonna do a nice little layup I don't really know what type of layup that was and right here you're gonna see us get a steal and we're gonna see if we can score and we're gonna pop out on the right side and we get the ball and we're gonna pull it and this shot should have gone in, in my opinion. Wide open free th er, wide open uh, 18 to 20 footer. I don't know. I think he should have made that one, but whatever. All right, there. You saw the play before I got subbed out. And here's the halftime report. We're up by nine at half. And 
some of the other games around the league are uh, the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Toronto Raptors. And Philadelphia picked up the win. The Nets versus the Wizards, and the Nets destroyed the Wizards. Uh, and that's basically all for that halftime report. We are doing pretty decent in our first game in the NBA as a rookie this year. And right there, you're going to be seeing DJ Augustine on the court before me. Just like I was saying earlier in this video, I'm playing behind. Actually, I might have not have said it earlier, but I'm playing behind DJ Augustine and Kemba right now. Uh, which it doesn't really give me much time at the point guard position, but it's okay because I've been getting some good plays as a two guard. Like right here, we might be able to get a nice ISO. We dish it to Boris, and Boris is going to get it in. It was goaltending by Jason Richardson. I don't know why he jumped up there and did that. He should have just let it fell. No real point to try and block it. And right here, they're taking me to the post again. And I told him, stop trying to post me up. It's not going to work anymore. And I make it so he has to dish it out. And they're going to miss a wide open three-pointer. Now right there, you're going to see a nice little get out of my way move. A nice swim move on the top of the key. And I'm going to go all the way to the basket off a cut and dunk it strong. Four seconds left, and here's another example of our great defense this game. They're going to have a shot clock violation there, and let's see. Hugh Turkle is going to pass it off to Jason Richardson. He tries to pass it into Quentin Richardson, but he's unable to. So Gerald Henderson, of course, being the selfish player he is, is going to take it for himself, but realizes he won't be able to get anything, so he kicks it out. And we get the ball on the same possession. And we're trying to make something happen, but we don't see anything. So we're going to kick it to Gerald Henderson, who makes a nice elbow shot. So that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, I've noticed there's quite a few players on this team who are selfish players. They will not pass the ball even if I'm wide open, uh, which kind of makes me decide that I don't want to pass it to them. Right there, you're going to see... Dwight Howard with a nice post up and one of the reasons why I'm kind of shocked why the Orlando Magic would even think about trading the, him. Uh, now on to the point of Dwight Howard getting traded possibly. I'm really kind of wondering what will happen to the league because there are a few rumors that he's going to go to a big uh, uh, a team that really doesn't need him like Miami Heat are in the conversation which would make the league very unbalanced also Chicago Bulls might get him uh, I'd really like to see him in a smaller market just to make him be able to uh, actually have new faces in the playoffs uh, there's always the possibility that he doesn't get traded, and the Orlando Magic might get screwed over if he doesn't get traded, especially if they don't eventually, well, if he doesn't sign back with him this coming up year, because after this year, he's a free agent as well, and so we'll see what happens with that, though. I think one of the best deals for them would be to trade uh, Dwight Howard to the Bulls, possibly. And get someone like uh, maybe like Omir Ashik or something like that, clear up some cap room, and possibly just lose out, try and lose out and get a nice draft pick this next year. Although, honestly, their team is still pretty solid without Dwight Howard. So, you know, that's. It's really. You know, that's why I'm not a professional scout or anything like that. That's why it is up to their general manager to decide because I'm not an expert on this subject, but, you know, whatever. Now, back to the gameplay. At this point in the game, it's starting to get kind of close. It's 81-74, to 74, and Charlotte's leading by 7, but after this play, it looks like we probably will get subbed out. Nope, we're getting fouled. We're going to the line, and we're going to make our free throw. So now this play, we're going to try and push it in, but we're unable to do anything. Jameer Nelson fouls out, but at least we were able to get it to Corey McGetty before he 
uh, before we had to turn it over or anything. So this will lead to another points, another few points for us. And then I'm gonna get subbed out after this shot. So whatever, you know, we did pretty solid in our first NBA game. 15 points, one rebound, three assists. 75% shooting from the free throw, 66 from the field. Uh, we end up picking up the win, 80 to 92, and Charlotte takes a win over the Orlando Magic. Uh, will this happen to the Orlando Magic if Dwight Howard leaves them? Will they start losing to bad teams? Anyways, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Gamer Studios Universe here. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.